Tonight was the conclusion of the girls semifinals in Hammond. J.S. Clark and Hathaway have already punched their tickets to the championship weekend and three more area teams were looking to do the same Thursday. Let's start with Division One Select where Lafayette was taking on STM. Lafayette closed the first quarter 20 to 7. Krista Narcisse pitches it to Kyra Johnson for the layup. It's now 22 to 7. Lady Lions in the second, but STM not going down without a flight. Blair McCauley drains a triple from the corner to cap off nine unanswered as the Lady Cougars trail now 22 to 16. Seconds before half, Cougs turn the ball over and it's nothing but space and opportunity for the Lions Narcisse to make this now a 26 to 16 lead at the break. And then over the hump, one minute left in the third, it's gonna be Carlin Archery feeds it to Delayla Blackwell for two. And it was all gas, no breaks for LHS as they win 50 to 34. He knew coming into this game that playing STM a second time that it wasn't going to be just like the first time. And so we definitely had to prepare ourselves for anything that they might throw at us. We've grown throughout this season, so when they did come with the triangle or two and, and tried to slow us down, I think we did a pretty good job of being more disciplined. In Division Two, LCA taking on Peabody earlier. It was a defensive battle for the first three minutes until LCA's Daisha Jones cashes in for the first two of the game. And that's all LCA needed to turn the heat up. Jada Rishaw later goes untouched to the hoop. The Lady Knights would start on a 15-0 run. In the second, LCA now up 19-3 and Indera Abair knocks down the long ball to extend the lead to 22-3. The Knights cruise to the finals winning 50 to 13.